Well, it's the eve of the provincial election and the party leaders are out in full force. The NDP used their final day of campaigning to take aim at Doug Ford once again, calling on the PC leader to clear the air about a lawsuit filed by his late brother's widow. We want Mr. Ford to come clean about his salary, uh, what he earns in his company, and we also want him to disclose financial statements for his company so we can actually see for ourselves uh, whether or not these allegations could be true. The $16.5 million lawsuit was filed by Renata Ford, the widow of former Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. It alleges Doug Ford mishandled his brother's estate and destroyed the value of the family business, Deco Labels. The Tory leader denied the allegations again today, promising to clear his name. It's a close election and one that could be determined by people who are voting for the very first time. I'm Christina Howard at the University of Toronto and this election could be decided by the youth vote. There are three and a half million millennials in Ontario and millennials tend to lean orange. Head into any NDP campaign office and the evidence is in the young smiles that greet you. Certainly you can see around this campaign office we have lots of young folks who volunteer, we have lots of young folks who work here. In fact, the majority of our staff and volunteers are probably under the age of 30 and a lot of them are first time um, volunteers and a lot of them are first time folks who get involved in the campaign. With a platform focused on combating high tuition, more affordable housing and childcare, the NDP is certainly playing to the youth vote. An ECOS poll shows that millennials are more likely to vote NDP than any other other party, with 44% saying they'd vote New Democrat compared to 33 and 13 for the Conservatives and the Liberals. Oh, they've been extremely important. And, and you know what? And I started hearing it from day one. Uh, we were going to uh, campaigns around the province, everywhere in the province. And our candidates were saying, you know, these young people keep pouring into our offices. I don't know how many young people I have talked to during the campaign who have told me they've just turned 18 or they're 19 and this is their first chance to vote. Uh, and they not only are voting NDP, but they were so excited about our campaign that they decided they were going to come in and volunteer and help out. The question is, will they show up? Although a high youth vote turnout contributed to Justin Trudeau's 2015 federal win and the orange crush of 2011, traditionally, young voters have a greater tendency to stay home. I have seen a lot of my friends going out and trying to get their friends to go out and vote, which is really great. I think we saw in 2014 a surge of young voters, and we're seeing that on campuses where people, young people are getting more and more involved in politics, and they want to go out and vote. And so I'm really excited to see that all of my friends are excited to vote NDP like I am. 